million dollar media scopes, like how, how easy. You, Claude, and Kate, and just things of that nature. <laughs> It's, it's, it's creating, it's, it's Snapchat. We're dealing with Snapchat. We have to find the restriction that creates the upside. The disappearing content was a restriction. Like that, the only people that can compete with Facebook and right now is restrictions. Like the, all the opportunity in social media is around restrictions now. One post a day, I wanna launch a social network only for the first year out of college. Literally, it's called 23. You're only allowed to be there when you're 23 years old. Like that's who's gonna win. Like the 50, you're, yeah, 100% restrictions. Like in a world where a month ago, all sorts of different scopes looked up in the air, yeah. you know, beggars become choosers really quickly when they've been fed. Ooh, that was a good one. I feel like you're filming Nate's head. I feel like you missed that, bro. CB. How are you? I'm well. Can we, life is good, give me two seconds. You know, it's just a safe, I'm agnostic, right? I want what's best for everything. So, you should really take me up on that. If something's going great, if something is not going great, if you're cur- curious about something, I've got answers. Like, I want to fix things. Yeah. I'm not scared of it. There's yeah. no, like, I feel like I'm naked. There's no right. emperors right. not wearing clothes. I know I'm naked. Yeah. I'm running a company. All right, that's cool. awesome, man. Awesome, man. Have a great Gary. day. Yeah, get to find us in Yeah, day. really nice, and hopefully more to come. Hey brother. Over empathetic no reaction to my disappointment. How are you? It's a great story. Yeah. What's that? It's a great story. Over empathetic yeah, reaction yeah. to my disappointment. That's, that's, that's how we roll. That's awesome. Uh, cool, we got a real cool thing in a minute. I'm going to the bathroom. I can meet you in there, in my office. On this episode, storytelling superstar Morgan Spurlock stops by. The Ask Gary V Show. I'm super fired up for this phenomenal guest. It's ironic. This is really the first time we're jamming. Yeah. We've we've interacted a little bit on Twitter. Yeah. Then we ran into each other on at the plane. on a plane. <laughs> I was like, hey, you should come. In. Like, that, no, the best part is, like, then you walked by and then I DM'd you. I was like, hey, you should be a guest on the Ask Gary Vee Show. You're like, sure. Yeah. And here we are, two weeks later. So, what do you equate your ability to break through and what everybody aspired to do? Yeah. In a world where they didn't achieve that and you did, think, like I, honestly. Well, got, Especially because this is an entrepreneur tenacity. format. I mean, I think a lot of it is You tenacity. willed it? I, I think you. I think it's you're not only willing it, but you don't quit. I think quitting yeah. is easy. That's the other thing, a lot of people give up. Quitting is the easiest thing in the world. And and I just, um, what I don't it? know. I, I just, yeah, my, I grew up with parents, amazing parents, yep. who were like, whatever you start, you finish. Yeah. You never, like, no matter what it was. Like, if I had wanted <laughs> right. to quit baseball, they were like, nope, you're nope. finishing the whole season. You I never, know. I was never able to quit anything. And so, Interesting. I, and I grew up you know, with my father who's an entrepreneur who started a business out of our garage that grew into a huge business. And so, I mean, for me it was always about I've got to stay the course. I've got to see it through. Thank you, my man. Great to see you, Gary. Really, Appreciate really. It. This was a lot Thank of fun. You. This yeah. was awesome. You keep asking questions, we'll keep answering them. That is, I can say I'm looking for my people. Really need to ask Gary V255, exact same. Guys, crazy fucking shit. Daily V and Ask Gary V are on both episode 255 right now. So, wait. Both of them are up 255 right now? So, so right now, if you go to YouTube, both of them are on 255. Yes. I want to give away $255. <laughs> oh, if you and I have a relationship, it's just better, even if it's yeah. two minutes. Yeah, I really appreciate that though. I, Good. I always feel like there's so many more people that you know, need it. I, get, I know. You know, but it's weird that it should be the other way. Yeah. Good to meet right. you finally. Finally, years seven, eight, eight years in the making. Yeah, Mike. Mike, how are you? Hi. Margo. Margo, nice pleasure. To meet you. How's it going? Yeah, good. Don't listen to this guy though, because he's gonna trick you. He's super <laughs> slick. Very nice. It was nice meeting you. You've got to find the vulnerabilities, and the truth is, there's a lot of them. And so, it's an interesting time. I mean, I think from a strategic standpoint, understanding the dynamics of the private label business uh, and the infrastructure that you guys have in, in, in your market. I mean, there's a really, you know, you, you know, when I think about it, as a, I'm a businessman before I'm a creator, when I think about what the impact on you professionally can be if you can win in this market at a global level, the stakes are extremely high and exciting and that, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't uh, 
that doesn't come lightly from my perspective. I, I recognize how, how big of an opportunity this really is. How are you? We were gonna, so she you. won the uh, 30 Minutes Sit Down podcast. Okay. Together. We were gonna do it today. Obviously, the schedule got jumbled okay. up. So she what's was happening already now? here in the city. Just saying that. We're just in town. Where are you? Where do you? Well, I, I'm living in D.C., but we are from Ohio, and I'm launching a new architectural business after, like, having, like, hey. kids. And just, like, how are you, man? Good, how are Nathan, you? nice to meet you, brother. And he's holding my camera. <laughs> I love I it. Can't afford. I no worries. That's where it starts. <laughs> Very nice, man. Good Big luck. Fan, Thank uh, you, brother. You've given me a lot of motivation in my own entrepreneurial stuff. Nice. Thank you, man. Good really luck today. Thank yeah, you. enjoy. Do you mind if I take a selfie? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Thanks. Like, if you open the Apple podcast store right now, my Gary Vee audio experience is the number 28 biggest podcast in the world. Bigger than like tons of NPR shows. Correct, and you are too. And I know you could be a top 100 podcast and it would speed up the FQ way quicker than if you dominated email, social, and, and a website. So now, I also know that we're two good business people. We've got a million things going on. My intuition ironically says, let me produce a show, right? That you're the star of and and it's a very lightweight deal. It speeds up you being a top personality at scale and then you send the economics into your thing. Okay, love you, see ya, bye. Back to Ari. Speed, hello. <sighs> Understood. Let's do it. It's solved. He's gonna have to say yes to s- Hey brother, you? you have Alex Klein's email? Yeah. Good, yeah. email Alex, Alex and Alex brought me in. Great, that's right, I forgot about that. Yeah. So email Alex and CC me on it. Be like, hey, don't ever send a fucking email when you don't have to. Alex? Um, <laughs>
all the Chinese platforms. So look, if, if you grew up in Beijing, Shanghai, you're now in Harvard, Stanford, NYU, a community college, I don't give a crap. If you're in the US market or other markets globally and you're gonna bring that sensibility or IP back home and do your thing, one of the things that I highly recommend is realizing how commoditized the information is. You can Google, I promise you right now, watching my thousand videos on YouTube is gonna make you a much better branding and marketing expert than 98% of the universities in the world who are teaching curriculum that is outdated. What I would do, which is unique advice, definitely for a Chinese market that over indexes in its value of information education, is I would shake hands and kiss babies. When you're in America, if you're at Wharton, your job is not to figure out information that's commoditized on the internet. Your job is to shake hands and make as many relationships of the future leaders of the global marketplace. So this could be, this is very countercultural for American elite students. This is double countercultural for you because of what your parents have told you to do. But look, I'm unpopular here in the US. I might as well be unpopular in China with parents. You need to meet people. It's about the people. It's literally the relationships that you make at these universities that are gonna over-index your skill set. It's not about siphoning out the curriculum. You can do that from home in Beijing. You need to shake hands and build relationships. Those are the business development opportunities of your next 20 to 50 years. Bye guys, thank you so much. Thanks for hanging. Thanks, Yeah, take care of yourself. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. 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 So the cycle of innovation, is, it's a pretty, you know, lofty term that people describe of market cycles. I think right off the bat we'll just get, what does the cycle of innovation mean to you? Too early, too late, you're dead. Yep. Fast follower with understanding pattern recognition, you make all the money. Person slightly behind that person, not bad. You'll get a little fed. Person slightly behind that, not good. Person behind that, dead and loses lots of money. Yeah, time's hard for me. Right on my mind. Two dollars. Here we go. Piece of it. Oh, no. An original Thundercat in package. This goes for a hundred. In good quality, too. In great not, shape. Like, there's great wrong. shape. What year is this? If this is later, this could be one of the good ones. This is, it's 87. Fuck. <laughs> this could be worth a lot of money. Yeah, mine's in way better shape than that. Don't even disrespect. And wait a minute, that's for soul. Go to completed items, you're such a rookie. Go to list, <laughs> scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Hit right there, completed listings. Not sold, completed, because that gives you a better indication on like sell versus not sell ratio. Now sort by price. 65 bucks. I'm telling you man, she's fucking rare. Fuck, I'm pumped. You got these 65 bucks. <laughs> Out of package. Dude, this fucking shit is rare. <laughs> Guys, you're missing the boat. You wake up at 6 a.m. <laughs> Saturday. I really wish I didn't want to buy the Jets. I would garage sale full time. <laughs> I gotta hang this. I'm off. Or I'm out of here. See ya. She know evil not far from me. I don't mind stressing who got a raw for me. Or wood for me. Fuck what's good for me. I'm just trying to die a little faster. I'm just trying to see them green pastures. I'm way up like the rafters. Young. Trying to get his masters. Young trying to crack the code.